Hi, good morning. I just want to start off by saying that I am not a morning person. I wake up uh, usually around like 8.30 or 9, sometimes a little bit later depending on how late I stay up. I'm definitely a night owl. Let me know in the comments if you're the same. I know I can't be the only one. Please tell me I'm not the only one. So for today, I am going to the gym. I usually go the first thing in the morning if I am going to go to the gym because I like to get it out of the way and get a little energized and then move on with my day. I did also need to go to the grocery store so I was making a grocery list because I have the memory of a goldfish and I literally can't remember anything unless I write it down so here's me doing that. Also, I want to note that I am not good at filming in public, let alone at the gym. So I was trying really hard to film parts of my workout and there was a point where I tried to film and the flash went off and oh my god, let me tell you. I freaked out pretty much. There was only one guy next to me, but I was so embarrassed. And then here's me at the store with a bunch of groceries that I didn't have on my list because that's the way that goes. And also, this lady stopped me to talk to her about vitamins, and I can't say no to anybody, so here's a little taste test. I'm gonna give it a solid 3 out of 10. Texture was not good. <laughs> How about that transition though? I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10 for effort and a 7 out of 10 for execution. And since we're on the topic of rating things, I'm gonna rate this shot a, like a three <laughs> because my lotion tripod setup did not do me well. So sorry for that. Also, for the skincare routine that nobody asked for, I have a pretty minimal skincare routine. I pretty much just wash with CeraVe products and I moisturize with Burst Aid Beauty and then I also have the Polish Choice Exfoliant and sometimes a serum from Herbivore. And that's pretty much it. Then I saw that we had a full dishwasher of clean dishes so as the responsible adult that I am, I decided to take care of that. And wow, look how beautiful. Can anybody tell me if they also suck at getting the ratio from like foam to coffee or foam to tea, right? Because I really just can't get it down. And also I've noticed that almond milk does not foam very well, but that's what I drink, so that's what I get. This was like legit half tea, half foam, but it's fine. It's fine. Then I usually, while I'm eating breakfast, I will go through and reply to comments and then also just go through my subscription list because sometimes I suck at being an influencer and I get really behind on everything. So I just take this time to take a couple hours or however long it takes to go through and watch everybody's videos and everything of that nature. Something else that's fun that I've been getting into lately is making press-on nails. I have been rocking press-on nails for like a year and a half now, I think, and so I kind of came to this epiphany of like, why am I not just making them myself? So I am now. It's mostly just practice right now. I do want to hopefully sell them in the future, but I've got to work myself up to that. And I also need to start making ones that aren't just my size because that's pretty much what I'm doing for the most part. But it's kind of hard because I make one that I love and then it's not my size and I'm like, dang. For this set in particular, I'm pretty much just going with the flow. I didn't really have a set idea, but I knew I wanted it to be kind of abstract, so I kind of just winged it. 
For most of my sets, I'm pretty much just doing them one hand at a time because I've found if I make a set that I don't really like, at least I had only wasted five nails and not ten. And then the ones that I do like, I can go back and make the other hand later. As far as the nails that I'm wearing in this video, I did make those. It was the first set that I had ever done, so I've definitely seen some places I can improve on, but I am pretty proud of myself. I do really like these nails. But I'm also super excited to wear the set that I'm making in this video. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, you should definitely do that. I will be posting these nails while they are on, so you get to see what that looks like, and just because you should follow me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. Please be honest. If you think they're ugly, let me know. And if you like them, also let me know. So this is basically what my day off morning routine consists of. It's pretty chill. I like it. I hope this was interesting for you. Thank you so much for watching. I would do a night routine, but I don't think anybody wants to watch 20 minutes of me sitting on TikTok for three hours before I go to bed, so probably not going to do that, but overall I hope you enjoyed watching. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!